A panel in the House of Representatives has started its discussion on several proposed measures pushing for amendments in the 1987 Constitution. Here's our House reporter, Gabriel Lalu, for an update. Gab? The House of Representatives Committee on Constitutional Amendments earlier tackled 10 proposals seeking to revise the Constitution, three of which are House bills, five resolution of both houses, and one joint resolution, and another people's initiative coming from concerned citizens. All in all, House Bill 6698 and 4926, respectively authored by Manila Representative Bienvenida Abante Jr. and Camarines Sur, Representative El Rey Villaferte, call for the creation of a constitutional convention that would amend the 1987 Constitution. Petition 1 and Joint and Joint House Resolution Number 12 by Committee Chair and Cagayan de Oro Representative Rufus Rodriguez also calls for the same. Other bills and resolutions focus on specific amendments like the order of presidential succession, the possibility of re-election for a president and a vice president, although with a shorter term of five years, and changes in the economic provisions which would now allow foreign ownership of land and businesses. As of now, this is the second hearing by the committee, and what happened earlier was more of a briefing by resource persons like uh, among those present was constitutionalist Christian Monson, lawyer and former Bayan Muna pres representative Neri Colmenares, former constitutional Amendment uh, Advocate Raul Lambino and retired Supreme Court Justice Vicente Mendoza. Mm -hmm. Gab, I understand that this is just an initial discussion regarding uh, this measure. There's still a long, long, long way to go. Yeah. So, uh, but I still want to ask, uh, what is the mood like in the House regarding this legislation? I'm asking this because uh, for so many years, this has been pushed to no avail, primarily due to its controversial uh, nature. So, what is it like uh, in the House of Representatives right now regarding this measure? Uh, Speaker, Rom Speaker Martin Romualdez has been honest that the charter change is not a priority mm -hmm. for this Congress. But mm -hmm. he also said that they are open to hear proposals. I think uh, last June, July 18, he said that they are open to hearing proposals seeking charter change or constitutional reform. But they have been... Uh, uh, transparent about it, but it is not a focus of the administration. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't think it was mentioned even during the campaign of former president, uh, of during the campaign of then candidate, now President mm -hmm. Ferdinand Marcos. Uh, but there are 10 bills, including one, uh, the fact that they accepted a uh, a petition, which is not authored by any lawmaker. Huh? It is mm -hmm. authored by a, by a group of people, uh, concerned citizens who want to change the uh, provisions in the Constitution. So, mm -hmm. I think there's specific interest in the committee uh, along with other lawmakers about what could happen uh, within the term of President Marcos regarding charter change. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, and uh, I believe this is, oh, this was not mentioned by uh, President Marcos indeed, as you said uh, during yes. the campaign, that this is going to be one of the measures that he's really going to push for. Uh, but, Nonetheless, it was filed in the House of Representatives. So, uh, pro for the proponents, Gab, uh, what was the reason behind filing this measure and uh, why do they believe that there's a need to amend the Constitution? And I guess the biggest question is why now? Well, there are, ve there are several. Uh, there, I, as, as I've said earlier, there are 10 proposals. But uh, mm -hmm. only two call for a, the establishment of a constitutional convention. Mm -hmm. uh, one call for a calls for a the prescribing of the order of presidential succession and mm -hmm. then there are other uh resolutions that ask that certain certain economic provisions which they believe are restrictive to the philippine mm -hmm. economy mm -hmm. like uh barring foreign foreign ownership of land and uh businesses uh to be changed uh mm -hmm. there's another uh it's another resolution calling for the extension for the uh, for allowing uh, the president and the, the vice president to run for another for a mm -hmm. second yes, term. Yes. Although, well, on a shorter term of five years, where President Marcos is no longer will no longer be eligible if this is adopted. Uh, so, there uh, earlier during the hearings also, uh, former Supreme Court Justice Vicente Mendoza said mm -hmm. that. But uh, one big reason why the constitution should be amended right now is because the current constitution does not prescribe, uh, explicitly state what kind of 
how the constitution, a new constitution or any amendment would be done. Uh, mm-hmm. Parang sabi niya, mayroong mga confusion kung ano bang susundin. Hindi, hindi siya explicit uh-huh. na in-state kung constitutional assembly ba, constitutional convention, which is, sinasabi nila, mas expensive kasi mm-hmm. uh, uh, constitu- than na constituent. But, uh, sorry to cut you, Gab, yeah. but this deals more on the technicalities, right? Yes. So, yes. Uh, but the real uh, question here na ating mga kababayan is whenever we have this discussion uh, regarding uh, whether it is constitutional amendment or charter change, the biggest uh, controversy really is about the term limits. So, uh, can you tell us about uh, what these proposed measures say regarding this issue? Because um, this was pushed during the time of President Duterte even and obviously it did not uh, come to fruition. But here we are, another administration, another president, another push for a constitutional amendment. So, uh, can you talk about uh, the proposals regarding the issue of term limits? So, there. Uh, the president and the vice president would be eligible for a re-election after a five-year mm-hmm. term. Uh, while there is sev- there are several lawmakers supporting this move, earlier, Bayan, f- b- former Bayan Muna lawmaker Neri Colmenares said that uh, they are not really against any move to alter the constitution. Instead, mm-hmm. what they are wary about uh, is the insertion of provisions that would extend term limits for mm-hmm. even for lawmakers because there are also changes in the terms of lawmakers. Uh, mm-hmm. It would mm-hmm. no, it would no longer be three year three years three 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 year terms. So, mm-hmm. uh, parang sinasabi ni former Congressman Colmenares na hindi naman kami against sa uh, charter change or sa pag-aamyenda ng Constitution. Kaso ang hirap niyang ibenta sa taong bayan. Kapag nakita ng taong bayan na may term limits, uh, uh-huh. may babaguhin na naman sa term limits. So, yes. uh-huh. kanina, uh, parte ng discussion nag-umikot doon at meron ding usapan kung bakit magkaiba ba ang term limits ng mga senador at ng mga, kongre- ng mga kongresista uh-huh. sa House of Representatives. Pero uh, medyo mahaba pa to kasi yes, kanina, <laughs> puro pinakinggan pa lang yung mga resource person. Hindi pa masyado uh-huh. nakapag-interpolate ng todo yung mga lawmakers saka yung mga ibang proponents ng bill. Okay, there's the, as you said, uh, malayo pa ang lalakbayin nito dahil uh, uh, countermeasure has to be filed in the Senate and we don't know yet yes. uh, how it's going to roll over there in the upper chamber. Thanks, Gab. That's our House reporter, Gabriel Lalo.